the up towards V long here. Ooh, Levi able to get out the safety quick shorty engagement there. Wardell is down, and of course the fight continues as Genji just blasts their way onto the site. It's gonna be the retake for TSM. That initiation from JMD's paranoia was so good under Wardell. Can't use the shorty at that range. Ooh, that's crazy, and they push elbow as well. That's gonna at least nullify that frag. And Sean still waiting for the execute. Oh, five still here. Gets tagged. He's gonna get followed up on. Nothing there. There's the poison over in the back line. And the execute is on. Oh, Wardell is so low. This is very tricky for TSM. Gimon just sprays through, runs and guns, finds another one with the Wardell back sight. Three members strong now for TSM. Hayes late to the party, but now Sabrosa's coming in hot. Finds two on the trade. 3v2 with Spike still not down. Hayes now has finally arrived. Levi poking around the elbow. The Spike is not down. Levi waiting for them to make a move. Snake bite available. There it goes. Going to stop and delay, but still has a position to do so. They know Hayes on the other side. Levi comes out from elbow. Now it's just down to Hayes, and they are just playing. The knowledgeable of this. Hayes is still not spraying. The spike will go down. Finally, the spray will connect. The swing out. Hayes for two. Wonderfully done, but it's even. 3v3. TP over towards the bathroom, and Gimon is going to enter from the backside as they set up the post plant position with the mollies. As this toxic screen, it's one molly, so this won't delay for that much, but GMD's position also playing through that Viper's Pit might do good. Ace actually refreshes it, though, and he gets him. So that's not a worry anymore. They just have to worry about short. Shock oh Guard also connects. Goodness. Leviathan showing his impact so far. It's almost a half. Not to half. But it should still... Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. It's close. I can't believe it. No way. I'm a little aggressive this round, and so far, it's working out. Remaining. These positions that they've... A little delay here from Hayes as they start to rush in. One goes down, two for Hayes. Will he spray down one more? No. Nature takes a little bit of damage, but Bang still holding off the push from Hookah. Meanwhile, a lot of space has been gathered by Kusta. All the way through U-Haul. It's going to at least allow them to plant, but... They have Orbital Strike, though. He has Orbital Strike. It's going to go off, and he goes through the port. He goes up away. Does he have time to plant? It's going to be close. He's, no, with no the recon bolt. That's just gorgeous. That's gorgeous. Kusa in the back line like he was the, the entire time. This is done here. Oh, no. Pop it early and get some damage done. Very wow. nice. Down. Controller down. That's very key. Still have Gimon though, but they'll be using the showstopper to try to get a little bit more space. Bang is out of there. Okay, and he finds one with the paint shells. Nuts. Now Gimon trying to recover what was lost. They're all stuck there, but bang for three. Just down to Mikael. Finally stops that train, but Levi just as good as producing Hunter's Furies as he is dodging them. But Sean gets right up there with the backstab, but has to reload the clip. Ace still finds one through the toxic screen as we're dealt posted up here in heaven and boom! That's the Sova down, just down to nature. Bang right through. It's against pistols. They're all there! Ace only gets one. The bank's got the old. Oh! It doesn't matter. And that's the danger. You get too close to pistols and they'll bite. We'll find it up a couple of upgrades as well. And Viper's Pit on the site itself. This could be the round that Genji needed to try to bring us back to six. Pushing towards elbow, getting all that space. They've got control of the site. First time we're seeing the benefits of the Viper World on the attack side. So how do you break through here? No drone available for Leviathan, and there's a big flash, but Whoa. we're now full blind! Full blind with the knives! He's able to get that still. Yeah. Recoverable round now, because they're out on site. Still though the spike ticks, Sabrosa. Out the swing, but the pit is still up. Of course, Nature has to back away. There's going to be the tap. Levi ready to pop right out. Spray still good, though, for Nature. As Wardell's very low. The knives are good. He knows where he is. Pushing him fast, but no. TP to heaven. Will it be committed to? Kimon does stay to it, but Sabrosa was there waiting in the smoke. Wardell finds one in the process. Another shot comes in for Wardell, just down to nature, and he is dead to right. TSM, who's just playing close, not towards the shed like you said. Likely 
Ready for the swing though, actually. A quick shot, Sabros is down. Quick dirt nap for him as they take the engagement long range and they'll work together. Fight through the pistols. Sean just waiting for the push from Hookah. Finds one as well. Wardell is the last man standing as he tailwinds up onto the box. Trying to take this duel with Sean. Has to reload the cliff. Running out of ammo is wide open for TSM to plant. That's good stuff. Try and take advantage of the no sentinel, but Bang is there, and they're actually going to trade him no matter what in that situation, pretty much. But Sean finds another one. He's Leviathan doing all the way back by himself there. And he falls back too, so now they actually have to pay attention to the flank where it's not really coming in due time. Yeah, and there's going to be an upgrade as well for Sean to pick up, but let's have a look at the battle here at hand. Nature finds an opening pick here on the hold onto Hayes, and they're all very low here for Genji, so anything is possible for TSM, but their goal is to just get these weapons out of the hands of TSM at all costs necessary. Molotov to delay once more. John waiting for it to tick as he's positioned down short. Iman on the swing finds one from range. And now you can see Wardell has to escape. And guess who's right there to accept him? It's Sean. Little upgrade for him. The round is won. Dangerous. Still survives and looks for more. Wants those seconds. Paranoia to push them back. Cabbage is out here to pinch them in from behind. Hayes tells him to sit down. Kusa's out. Two rounds in a row where Kusa gets very risky with those plays. The Seekers popped outside out of the teleport. Oh, nice oh. shot from Nature, though. Wardell going to try to peek with him. Or Sabrosa going to try to peek with him, but seeing his head get chopped off that fast, he's backing away. Still a four versus four, though, and all smoke's available, so this execute did down. pretty powerful. Both players in sight, though, Simo. A little dangerous. Here comes the Levi Recon. Bolt spots one out, and boom! Alley oop for Sabrosa. A one-two punch takes the second. Two players remain here for Gen G. One player flanking in from Market. Thirty seconds left. Spike play. ESM in a pretty good position to close out this round, but they have a lot of injured members. Rosa, Bang, both not as healthy as they would like to be. And Gimon's going to make that a little bit of a problem as they pinch Back in from the. Elbow combo, but Mikael is down, so just down to Gimon here. Wait, he'll back off. He's not going for the round. So Rose won't get it. Bang, swinging oh as well. Oh, GMD. Just but again, utility slowly starting to stack up. Of course, with winning the round, they're hoping for everything. <laughs> Mikael comes running out with the shorty. Let's get traded. Gimon wants to pinch in Levi, and they're actually going to pinch in with Kusta as well, who teleports in. But of course, Levi sidesteps, looks for Gimon here as well. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is starting to slowly slip away from TSM, just down to Levi. Heard a Wildebeest running through, getting into the off angle. Paranoia to try to help him out. Doesn't matter though, because he still finds one anyways. Now Gimon waiting for his moment to shine. A quick tailwind, no, not gonna survive. And Sean with two. Gimon now is going fishing and he comes up with a silver bass just down to Sabrosa. And he is down and out round 11. It's a little dangerous. No big ults unless nature gets onto the site. And he's playing all the way back at elbow as well, so. He's down to TSM right here, hitting the shots. Uh -oh. He's gonna flash quick at Wardell, but. Dart's not helping, Sabrosa with two! Oh, He's inside the two, but all of a sudden it's all up to Levi. Dart's available, he can get sprayed here as well. Econ goes in. Now he's got the shock darts as well. He gets sprayed here very dangerously. Another one goes in! Finds Gimon! But still the spray! Just and that started off like, you know, kind of... Kind of weird in the bathroom area, but eventually we called it out that Kusa might end up going through that TP with the Seekers like he did in the prior iterations of when he had that Seekers. This time he does it, but GMD is playing very close in bathroom and he goes with a big flank and it will. What are you up to? You crazy, you mad lad. Only finds one. Bang will put a nail in his coffin. Nature's still on the site though as Kusa is flanking around. Sean laying and wait around the bathrooms and he's going to find himself a little hazed. Waits for it. Finds a one-two punch as... 
Bang will be able to stop the bleeding temporarily, but this is a 2v2 and very dangerous as well. Sean manages to find a showstopper, which means Wardell's got to be very careful with this op posted up the boost out shot as well. They don't have a lot of time. The flank from Kusta. This could be it. The camera. There it is. A big flash. Oh. He gets always oh, go for more. Oh, he's getting close to. He's maybe feeling himself a little bit too much. Does eventually get taken down. Mikhail here on the site finds one right <laughs> through the sliver there of the cage. And nature just waiting to pop out. No utility available. Waiting for, of course, the members to run in. Down, just down a Wardell finds one. But of course, Mikhail down below can swing off of that. Three lobby. And because it's going to be a one two punch, they can at least fight off these players first and probably do a lot of damage. Ooh. Your point comes through. Throwing the frag as well. Unfortunately, your comrade has fallen. Throwing another flash in to just delay them. Left. He's buying time. 30 seconds left. They gotta move fast. Players are coming in from behind. Nature finds one. You see Gimon. He's running. He's gunning. He walks in. A great pinch as well. One more around the swing. Hayes at least finds one. Wardell's trained on AMA. And if he stays in heaven, this would be a very difficult thing to cross on. And that's what he's going to have to deal with next. Because Hayes is down. Usta has to be very careful. Oh, he jumps out. Great. A lot of utility to try to push them back and try to take this control. Oh, this is a little dangerous. Oh, a little dangerous. It is shot with two big kills. Nuts. Crazy. What a start. Another one comes in for Mikael. Pops the cage. He is feeling good now. Wow. That's, that's ridiculous. From Sean. Dimdy still aggressive. Oh, my goodness. He'll take out one as well. That's bang. 36 seconds for Wardell to work with. And the match has a lot of value. Gen on though, in a good spot, finds one! Almost on the second, Bang gets taken dangerously low. Mikhail's gonna go back site so he can have a little bit more time to work with. I believe that's the null that does end up getting popped. Bang's ready on the swing, good spray. Wardell finds himself a phantom. They're playing very isolated here though. Hayes has to get out. If he gets one and get out, that's massive! Wow. That's amazing. They managed to survive that, but still the spike ticks, and that means that they don't have a lot of time. They'll drop down. One is already down, and unfortunately Wardell not expecting a great paint shell. And Nature, or sorry, Kusta did get punished. There it is. I love to see the value. Like, that didn't work, okay? I'll, I'll give you guys that. But Sean getting up in that position is something he hasn't done, and is based off of the fact that, that the wall that they're using gives him the ability to do that without being punished. And yeah. there, he went I past it, exactly which kind of hurts. Way. Hayes gets the old pop too, so he'll actually know what the setup is. Oh, That's nice. You want to fight it. Gets like past the TP. This after wall, though, is very difficult to deal with, because look at Kusta, he's isolated. Yep, they're running in. He's still alive, though, and that's kind of problem. Nature's ready. The cabbages come through. The swing is so I fast for Nature. Me. Finds an initial pick. GMD has dropped down, ready on the swing as well. There's a Viper spit, but unfortunately, MD's waiting on the opposite end. The problem is that this is tricky. He can't hear anything and finally drops. Oh, but do they expect him to be so close? Sabroza faster on the jump, though. 2v3 advantage for TSM. The spike hasn't planted, though. They can still delay. Now it officially goes down. Levi deep in the pit. It's Mikael down on his lonesome. But still able to survive. Wardell. Wardell's all alone, though. And that was... Almost going to be a problem with this Gen G force that was ready to go down the ramp, but they're instead going to go pop out of heaven. Blast packs are ready. They're ready for the combo. Zero point's going to make things even more challenging as they can't really fight back with their utility. Not that it matters, though. Quick trade, though. Now they'll go back towards the elbow. Showstopper here as well. We'll find another. Paint shells off the backboard make it difficult for Hayes, but he's got to push through. Now it's just down to the 1v1. Or 1v2, rather. Koos is going to keep him at bay. Swaps to the pistol. To come through heaven. Instead of over towards B or out ramp. But this time it works out. There's a Viper's Pit, too. This retake is much more difficult, but they have the no command. Yeah. Doesn't break the Viper's Pit, though. That's very important. Just the abilities. Nature is playing a little bit further back from the rest of his team as he pops out. It is going to be Wardell that is going to be anticipating Sky his down. entry. John finds one in the lurker. Now Wardell has to be careful because he could be pinched in from ramp, but he's so... Focus on the swing from nature, but the jump peak, no, and he takes out Wardell too. That has to.
to be oh, no the end. No time. My goodness, but there's no time. Genji, find all the members of Walk out with it. Leviathan's got value out of this before, but how much? Uh oh. This could get a little tricky. Null Command is up and they're pushing it from heaven as well. Boost is actually able to stop players coming through. Now, Nature's gonna need a chug jug to get back up. Rose is getting in deep. He's even got the flash as well. And just right there, Kusta ready to accept him with his open arms and just trying to find a weapon, something to survive his lead. There's the flash though. Instant cage. Rose awaits within it, pops through, almost takes down Sean. It's bang though from the rope that finds the frag. And it's a fast Hayes break to A. You see Hayes rushing to try to keep up. It's just Mikhail. The spikes all the way in spawns are there. Kind of having to run back through that. No smoke assist to Mikhail's either, so. And they're flipping it again. Gen G, a little uncertain on this pistol round. That might give a little bit of room right here. GMD's gonna walk up. The wall is left. obviously only being used for B main right now. GMD, a little bit of jump spotting through. Bang is there as well, and not much damage done, so they might get into sight. GMD gets one, though, and Ordell and Hayes will combine for two. It's an even trade in the two versus three now. Not a lot of time left, they'll at least get the spike down and another pick. Okay, but there's a player concussed and that has to be careful! It's a sentinel player. Bang is here, he didn't get suppressed, but they're already in sight by that time. Nice little lineup, frag as well to follow up. Wardell finds another one in the mid area. Three players main and this is looking like a TSM victory just down to Kusa and he's all on his lonesome. Has to reload the Spectre at some point, but he doesn't really have the time to do so. Finds the 1v2. And it did get value where they know that nobody pushed up, but then he kind of backs off. And right now I'm worried. Oh, Hayes, no. The timing doesn't work out. Sean's going to pounce on this too, so they should have sight. If they could just force Bang off the position, it's the Viper's Pit too. Oh, they get him, wow. And that's the sight locked open. That's crazy, but there's a player in the smoke. It's Sabrosa. He's about to pop right behind him. He finds one. Now they know exactly. They know, oh my god, it's Sabrosa. Oh, four frags come through. Down to just Wardell in nature. This is insane. Sabrosa was in the best possible position. Wardell hears nature he hears sprinting down through. Who's going to get this frag? It's good for Ward. The paint show played by the flower party's low. They know. They know. But a quick null command as well. Hayes finds one, but that doesn't matter. Because nature's backed up, boom. No problem, Sabrosa on the run though, knows that he's got a swing through, and nature right back up to form. Find Sabrosa, and they're in a really good position now. TP out from the close 50, doesn't want to be stuck there, wants to be with his team. Bang and Levi now have to work together. Kusta on a great angle to anticipate somebody dropping through or walking through can calm anything at any point and watching the flank for ramp. 2v4 though. There's the drop. Levi's in. He's down. One player remaining. It's Bang, and he is stuck behind screen. In sight for Genji. Yeah, this is a little bit problematic, and there's three ultimates available, particularly the Cosmic Divide, that can make things a little bit troublesome. They can push forward. You see Mikhail's got to get out of that close 50. The knives are out. Here comes the push! Wardell and Bang now in combination. Down to just minuscule players here. GMD's the last man standing. Oh, man. Paranoia in. Ace in a little bit of trouble. The Wardell on the peak. Oh, Ace past the second guess himself, but he finds the frag anyway. But two quick punches. Wardell's, though, still alive backside, and that's a problem. One enemy remaining. Nature does end up finding the frag. Has to get the spike planted <laughs> fast. Does he have enough time? <laughs> He's going to die in. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Imagine having to be, just be forced by time to place in the front of sight. That's Here it comes again. But this time he can get away. He's gonna actually go for no. He misses. It. Oh, Ow. sheriff shot too, and he gets away eventually. Oh, and they're just pushing them back using all the utility that they can. Mikhail funds another snake bite to not let them in from the alleyway. The plant will go down, but this is problematic because they need to fight as soon as they can. A great snake bite from Kusta to push Sabrusa out. Now three players remain. Wardell just checking his backside just to make sure the spikes ticking. The onus is on TSM to act. Two players stacked up behind. HP coming back up for some of the players that were affected by the poison cloud and the toxic screen. Wardell pushing up forward. Smokes are down. 
He's got to play close with this off, and that's a problem. Haze finds one initially. GMG's just looking for him. Where is this guy coming from? There he is! GMG for two! Seconds left. Levi's going to be the biggest problem. The smoke starts to go down. The sprays through. GMG finds one, too! How does he find him? The bro's up most impersonal. We'll punch right back. DSM Hayes finds another. The sprays from heaven. Not enough for Sabrosa to finish off GMD, but it's enough nature now in a 1v2. 30 HP. Not a lot left remaining. And he's not going to find Sabrosa. Great hold from TSM. One away. They're afraid. Just the cage. Waiting for the spray from Hayes. Finds one. At least the Star Banks participating as well. Nature's the only one that finds a consolation prize. But now he's in a 1v3. And TSM is moving fast back to the site. So Bros is first on the docket. And it'll be the tie game. Kyle's yeah, going to spot the players that are going to be pushing out from here. Cage goes up. Great spray for Mikael. Even gets a little bit of damage onto Wardell. He was a glass cannon anyway, but that hurts. 43 HP. Fly with a pistol could take him out at this point. The smokes are down. And the spike is in a really tough spot. Bang picks it up. Okay, thank you very much. Even if they pop out, GMG's just ready. Zero point. They don't have a lot of time left. 13 seconds. And it's well timed too! Wardell's the last player standing. He's got the pistol, yeah, but once you grab <laughs> him, he was looking for the knife! He was looking. <laughs> Leviathan's gonna rotate off of that. They didn't really have that much information in B main, so they can't really push past, but... Sprays through smoke and the NA. Name a better combo right now. Leviathan gets one. Oh and my Hayes god! Gets another. That's a vandal though, but it's vicious. That is crazy. Spike will still go down, means the onus is on TSM to act, but they are already here, and these trips are about to be activated. Two players stuck on the flank, and Kusta's ready for them. Unfortunately, the Trailblazer is going to make that very difficult for Kusta. Shot right in the back as he walks up the ramp, but GMD alongside Mikael looking to get this done. GMD is just trying to survive, avoids the flash for the time being, finds one initially, and on the swing. On the primary controller too, so they don't even have smokes to re-smoke on a main or anything like that, like they did in the previous round where the spike was down multiple times. Mikhail playing in front of his strips too. Gotta go big. Oh my oh, god! The reaction time is crazy. So Bros is looking for more. Sees him around the bend, just waiting for the flash to time out. But Nature's got it. Great frag though, but still 3v4. Nature's alone here on the site. Somehow, Kusa is now left to deal with haste, and he's taken down. 3v2 advantage here for Genji. They're starting the plant. Bang is waiting for the swing, and Nature's just sitting tight. Doesn't need to play any more aggressive than he needs to pre-fire spray for Levi. Nature's just gotta has to wait. Finds the frag just down a bang, has to. Different style on their attack. Waiting for the ramen peak, sees Sean, sees the shoe first, but he might be anticipating the swing. He wants the flash first. Oh my goodness, Sabrosa. Leaves some for the rest of us. Almost sees the last player, and they're Point starting ranks. to run for B, but they're ready. They're waiting in heaven, waiting for them to pop out. They're stuck. Zero point clears the back of back site. They're gonna re-clear Sabrosa, but he's still here waiting. He gets another one. Three. Oh my goodness. He gets the fourth two. He's gonna go for the content play, but it doesn't work out. One versus four now for Nature. And he's been good. Forward either way. On the attack right now, Wardell's deep. Oh! There it is. Every That's time dirty. you give him a piece, he goes for it, and the flash is good for Sabrosa too, but Sean, what? How does he find that one? Doesn't matter though. Kusta's down. They've got control of the site. Two players remain. This. It's the break in the chaos that you said TSM needed. Wardell now dropping down. He's the TP, finds an easy pick just down to Mikael. Shot's good from range. And Genji's just going for it. Two flashes over top. The execute is through, but TSM's hiding for now. Bang will swing and get oh my two. God. This might be starting to call it right now. So going to go for the bank, and he doesn't oh. get anybody. That's big. In fact, usually Sabrosa has come up with a multi-kill when he's been in those pillar situations. Now GMD sees Hayes. Wardell ready for the peak. Nature a little bit unaware of it. Gonna recheck it here again. In a pretty decent position. Spots him out. And now it's just down to Levi. No utility left. And he has to walk through the fire and the flames here as well. Nature's got the ang. And they're not expecting them to... Okay, the camera will spot them. So this isn't a big of a, big of a deal. I'm starting to make it out to B. Sean with the timing of the Sabrosa and a good peek there. GMG's peeking as soon as Sean is coming up the ropes as well. Last drive out. Sprays are starting to come through. Mikael finds one. Nature's just... Goddamn robot. And takes up ramp. Well, they might be thinking about going down, but Sabrosa's here. Gonna see the toes. That's spiked down. That is horrible for Genji. Hayes is already in, in, uh, in ramen. I was about to say ramp. 
Don is like, well, this is a scary sight. I've got to go through mid. Hayes is ready and waiting for it. This was prepped since minute and second one. Now Sabros is in an advanced position because he got the smoke from Bang. Whoa, he checked the camera, but still sees Nature popping through. Roomba in Awkward. to make things a little bit more troublesome. Hello, see you now. Surprise is not giving this up, but hey, it's a spike, so throw it with your body and you already got man advantage too, so I'm fine with this. Plus the control left. they have on the rest of the map. I mean, they can't come through, so it has to be Sabrosa wow. taking the contact. And he's delaying them a lot because they think there's more. 25 seconds now, and they have to get through Wardell, Bang, and Leviathan. Yeah, working with the buddy system, though. Sean on first contact finds another one. Okay, things are starting to look a bit, looking a little bit easier, but with Wardell on the angle, Levi up above on the raft. All sorts of directions right now. 30 seconds left, and we're still on the other side. It's a flash through from GMD2, and they shut it down on this side. And the rotate's not even fully been pulled. Wardell looking up above, looking from heaven. Bank is so low, but still the sprays don't quite find him. The flash through has to run, but Sabrosa just uses that to get safe passage to elbow. Blank goes down, 4v3. Wardell's waiting for them to peek from heaven. And in the meantime, Sabrosa, he's pushing up. Still has the flash, can still pop through, but he's in the smoke. He's gonna wait for them to pop in. Has the flash out, catches one. Can he find another one? Nope, does eventually fall. And somehow the pain chills. Now it's just down to the op. 1v2, finds one through the flash, now it's Sean chasing him down, and another round for Genji. But a split is what they always end up going for. This is different though from Kusta. Oh, this is just so ballsy. He's got the spike. He's got the spike. He's got the spike. This is so dangerous. Mikael's down, trying to peek mid. Kusta's down. Yeah, this is like clockwork for TSM. Genji needs something else. Because this B hit is so telegraphed, and they're five stacking B main. Five players. They need to get the spike down. Okay, he planted for heaven too. Sean actually takes out Sabrosa, but it is planted for heaven. So Wardell could have a big impact if they manage to get their way back over. And Leviathan's playing post plant. Delay, delay, delay. That's the key for Wardell now. Here's the execute. One player pushing through. They know that at least Wardell's there. Sprayed through the wall. Just down a bang, and of course the post plant situation spray. Sean is down, okay, but still bang will survive. Now the post plant comes in. They will at least get it to half, I'd imagine. But they know that Levi is playing post plant. He's down. Python's gotten the wall down for, for Sabrosa. We're down with the pick as well up in the heaven, and it's a 4v4. Bros is in such a tough spot. Levi, of course, now about to be pushed in. He hears them coming through. There's not a lot of time left. They've got to get the plant. One that's down. Sabrosa finds another. That's the spike carrier. He's going to find another. They have to get the plant down. It's just down to two players. The plant is finally being executed on 2v2. This is about to get scary, Bala. They don't want to go aggressive here. They want to play together. The knife is up. Wardell still with the dash. He uses it already, so he's going to have that up. Smoke down on screens as well. Bang, with one star. I'm not sure if he could use this. He's got to go for the gunplay. And he's so late, too. Wardell is going to be... Peeking this alone, the gravity well through. The swing! Oh, it's good for GMD! Just down a bang. He's good for one. One more player. 1v1. Controller v controller. Time. This could be it! Shots good for bang at TSM! You can see all of TSM. They're prepared for it's a B plant though. This position from Sean is gonna be dangerous. They've already cleared this, TSM has. So they think it's empty. So Rosa has to check it. Ready for another peek. There's the injured bang. One more. Levi does manage to find a frag, but now nature is popping up. Kusta still on the B site, waiting for them to pop through. Guess who's caught right outside? And of course, the glass cannon finally works out just down to Wardell. 1v2. He can get this done. Oh. But of course, the frag is going to make things very challenging. 51 HP. Zero point coming through. Misses that shot. That could have been crucial. They're already out on the ground. Sees nature. He's just trying to body peek first. And the style <laughs> point. To get the space. Still. Anybody's game. Zero point as well. Just to clear the corner. Hayes is already here. Pinching them from behind. It's going to cost them even more utility to get out of the mail room. Which is where they're stuck in right now. There's the swing. The bros are good for one. Almost good for the second. He will fall. Leviathan and bang. They've got the setup. One rafters, one pillar. Leviathan's gonna give it up though. And the split left. is coming. Wardell's finally here though. So he can push through at the same time. Bang's gonna get one. Leviathan as well. 
Kuska, though, he replies with two of his own in the one versus four, but Wardell is there again. Not. Michael, this is dangerous. Two free kills. He only finds one. Can he find the second? No, Sean comes up big, but he does get punched on the opposite side. Paranoia. GMT drops down. Finds two. Two big kills. 2v2 now. Nature and Mikael popping right out. Haze is down. It's up to Bang. Popping through. There's a stack waiting for him. And Gen G greeted with like four TSM members. Kale's playing a dangerous game. And he ends up falling. Bang as well will get one. I mean. How many rounds has Genji gotten to first blood on this uh, in overtime one, when they come to attack? One. one time, and they didn't even win the round. 30 seconds left. Toxins going up. That was the 1v2 post plant. And they found a pick on Haze, I believe, early on. 3v5, doable, but very, very challenging, considering kind of the nature of how oh. this has panned out. Bang, finds one lurking around. Levi just spring through the toxic Ten screen. Seconds. Ten seconds remaining. Genji have to act. Nature finds one, but, you know, there's a lot of TSM. I think they're very passive on the B site, maybe playing for the retake. In fact, they're passive across the board. Here's Sean and the information. Normally, Sermos is diving on him. He's gone, but the nade is good. DMD still for more. Sermos comes back up the ropes. He falls. Sean, too. Wow. And he fights kill. two on the way out. That is insane. 3v2, though, now. Is Wardell still alive? Has the spike. Needs to get it planted. Bang is going to push up forward, but DMD's just laying in wait. Oh, no. Now, Bang on the retreat still survives. And nature is going to be dealt with facing off against him. Zero point. Spike still not down. And TSM do not feel safe to get this planted. Bang. Without any of his utility. Dell still this with the op. 12 seconds. Same situation that happened before where Wardell was just waiting so long. But now time. And they're going to be able to push. Bang by himself. No. Oh, no. The you frag. Oh, he makes it out. No way. Now the op. Nature drop down. They don't know. Like this. They're waiting. Good shot there from Nature. Now they wrap around the pillar. They know Wardell's back. Fight or... Mikael's down, now it's just down to nature, and he finds it! Evan instead. Smoke down for the top so they can actually cross, but they're crossing into Wardell, who's got a free head to shoot at. That's GMD. And no more smokes to adjust here, so Hayes has got a big opportunity, but shot with the bar! Only one, as nature trades. Now they gotta fight for Supra, <laughs> but they line up. <laughs> GMD's ready for you. A little bit late on the reaction, but that's okay. But they're actually going to be punching in from the opposite side. And now GMD has to be a little bit careful. Kusa finally finds Levi in the age-old battle. Nature spots out at least one player. Now GMD can react off the flash, maybe. Paranoia as well. They flash him back. with the flash is galore, and GMD will fall. Uh -oh. They will double back and a... Whoa! The tail went right in. This is dangerous, because this is another player. No! The late move! Kusa will find Wardell. <laughs> And they'll just drop it. That the combination starting to come through. But Kusta was looking back there for a quick second. Still going to be watching Heaven just to be sure that if you starting to come through, Gravity Well, of course, going to stop that. They can play for this post plant. Fine. Now, of course, they have to start to act. If you starting to come through, spraying in. Now the push coming in from Sabrosa. He finds one. Can he find two? Sabrosa! Battle was potentially the, the game ender right there, or the game winner. And. Wardell wins that frag, so this is going to be a very troublesome hit now, and they're going to have to try again. Zero point coming through. Levi back sight, the spray through. Just doesn't matter where, doesn't matter how. Frag back sight, because you see Bang here laying in wait. Gen G looking real Shit. rough here. All comes down to this. Suppose with another one. Nature falls, and there it is! Damn out. Smoke to give him safe passage back through. But they're actually pushing in fast. Shots are... Once again, connecting, Wardell finds the opening pick, and that might be a little bit problematic as Hayes finds another. Still moving Ooh. up. Quick jump up, GMD. My goodness. 3v3 now as the rest of the TSM starting to rotate from the B site, and they're pushing in. Supposed to finds one, but the Goomba stopped from above from GMD. He's just untapped. An animal unleashed. Still, though, the spike has not been planted. Levi's the last player standing. No utility. And, of course, the snake bite as he pushes through the ace. Really well from Bang, waiting on the opposite side.
side. Shauna gets through, but Wardell's there to greet him, and now they'll try to chase down Wardell. He will fall. Now Sabrosa will try to stop the push, and this is looking disastrous for TSM. Fast way in. The rotators are going to be late to the party. The standard wall here to block off. We'll spray here. Oh, he's going to spray. No, cost him his life. Wall goes up. Now the spike to follow as well, but Sabrosa broke two. Oh, that's a little bit problematic. The flash in finds one! Can't find the second, or sorry, yes he does, before he falls. 3v3, TP here from GMD to try to get a little bit of a different position. Oh, and he's going to find one very fast. Now just trying to get to safety. Operator is online, but here comes the pit. Oh, they haven't allowed him to plant. I thought they planted while GMD went for that. That actually brought enough time for them to get it down with the pit, and that should nullify Wardell. How do you play close with this? He doesn't have knives. He has a classic yes. You can do Wardell things, but this is so difficult. Bang has to be the key factor here with this Phantom, and they're not making any progress. Got slow orbs. Not that that's going to be, like, crazy, but it can definitely benefit. Player starts to walk through. Oh, but he backs out of it. Mikael will be able to catch him, but Wardell just trying to flank around around the yellow. I like it. Get close enough. Mikael, oh, does he spot him? No, now he's on the run. Here's this updraft over Mikael trying to catch him. Oh, I love this combination. They drone early, TP up from GMD, and they try to make them dance on the hot coals. They'll find a pick as a result of it. Know that maybe one is still remaining, and GMD's going to get a little bit more space. Showstopper as well. Oh, my goodness. Bang still finds one, though. And that's the spike carrier. In the meanwhile, Sabrosa and Wardell pushing up with the cabbages. They know where the location of this is. And Sean's going to get in an advanced position alongside Kusta. Kusta has to... A little bit safer. Has a lot more to cover in the kitchen. Shot from Sabrosa. He's in the kitchen by himself, but they also lost the last player as well. His teammates. This, this these rounds are just clean. I mean, from from Gen G, they are absolutely clean. They are not giving any space down the B lane. And now they have like a three three point crossfire. I don't think Sabrosa has an opportunity here though. The sky step. For me and two rounds now they've shown me some fantastic stuff gmd is low okay never mind that was too much <laughs> right as i speak oh sabrosa this could be dangerous sabrosa how does he get himself in those positions it's insane kusta still finds one but this might be a lost cause 2v4 unless they can use the pit against tsm somehow but you've got Levi up above. It can be a challenging task. Broza. Those knives. Spike down A. Okay. <laughs> you're crazy. You're, a you're, a you're actually crazy. <laughs> I, Jim has, my, has been my favorite Omen Alter of all time. Easily. <laughs> These last two... <laughs> I'm like, eh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> He's in a really, really good position. You can pick off the alarm box. Sean gone. Wow. Nature gone. Down, Here hit. we go. Here we go. Good. Oh, it's going to be the B hit. Toxic screen telegraph. It's up to Levi to stop them. Oh, they can't. Back to what works for Gen G. Bang. Over top of the wall. Viper's put in. He might be able to deny shots. Wow. Fast, but it's just solid play from nature, expecting that. Oh, the paint shells for the lockdown. Yes. <laughs> Beautifully done. My goodness. That? <laughs> that was so annoying. Oh, the op. Gone. Op. Out of commission. 2v4. 5. Give me Kyle look dead to me for some reason. Spike planted. Viper spit as well from Kusta to make matters even worse. Ooh, MD avoids the turret. Fire it off though, so he's still kind of same old, same old. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is... <laughs> he could have he fight on them on the left side of this because that's the only place that gets in the fight. Big men split coming. You will not kill my he only gets one, and the rest is quick. Now Wardell's gonna be. A little bit of an awkward spot, though, but this engagement is very nice and long for him. The push through. Shot's good onto Sean. 
3 4 as Wardell backs away. And this mid split was a good idea initially, but now if, with the res committed, they're losing members left and right. Shot doesn't connect there. Will there, though, as Goose was the last man standing up. Flawless here. Oh, psych, that's the wrong number. PSM <laughs> winning round number found. We are not seeing a mid split. He, wait. I thought that weapon dropped for some reason. Wardell still has it, though. Big shot there onto Mikael. Still, they have the control of the site. Sean is trying to figure out where Sabros is going. He's going to drop down. He's in a really weird spot looking for Wardell, and he's not going to find him, but that doesn't really matter. Genji still punched back. Spike's in a little bit of a tougher spot, and you could see TSM kind of backing away. Sean gets spotted. This is going to be round number four potentially here for TSM, just down in nature. Up the rope, on the wall. We can peek Hayes. We're healing up with the Sage, of course, and that's kind of the combination here. Sean finds Wanted to Sabrosa early. We're healing, unfortunately, nullified very quickly with the loss of his life. Still, not on the site. Toxic screen here from the defense working very well. They're starting to pull back. They do see a couple of players here, though, so they will kind of stick around. Spike Carrier officially down. The second set of Pain Shield is not going to be ready in time. But all these members from TSM are so low. And breaking onto this site... It's going to be difficult. GMD, the pistol left. god, is here too with the classic. Already uses paranoia, though. He's going to swing on the haze. He's ready for that. The kill with the trade, though, and it's all Leviathan and Wardell. Nature in a... Through the wall. That's just brilliant. Wardell's going to plant behind it, too, so good use of his environment. Smoke available as well, but... <laughs> get to see it, but now we get to see Levi in a really good position. And all TSM needs to do is to buy time. And that's really what Sabrosa's position is. It's one and done as Levi calms it all out. Starts to spray. Oh, no. Finds one. Finds two. Paranoia to try to answer back. 2v3 now. As TSM can play off the site with a lot of their post-plant utility, particularly the nano swarms. It's got none. The wall is up. They have to break. They have to break fast. Smoke also on that spike, and if GMD really contains this, that Marshall's the only thing to take it out. The spray as well, he's behind the wall. Segment as well. Oh no. Seconds now. Hey, oh, is there. Man. Oh, they can't quite. That's a weird wall. They can't quite get it, but still. Who's the falls through? Probably the toxic screen spray. Now Viper's pit to follow up. They had a lot of ultimates moving into this. Swing here from Hayes, gonna find shot, but still dies to the Roomba anyway. Still though, man advantage for TSM. Nature gonna find Sabrosa, but of course they're stuck in the pit and they need to make sure that they can take out these members. GMD the last man standing, and it's a great conversion. It doesn't matter because they're going back towards A, but... No, that's way too far. <laughs> it's for the spike plant. Oh, Bakusta. This is in such a good spot. The drop down from Levi. Now, of course, the spike carrier is starting to come through and unfortunately gives up the angle. But he'll repeat here. Hayes has it down. Pat, but shot's good. Levi out who notices Hayes trying to take out his turret. And then, of course, turret down. But so is nature. 2v3 advantage now in favor of TSM and the backstab from Sabrosa all onto the shoulders of Sean. And, of course, who's down below? Oh, my goodness! He does it for Jen! So making their approach. They've cleared a lot right now. What? Is Mikhail? I think Mikhail is watching mid right there. Oh no, supposed to be such a good angle, and now the leg shot as well. And you're still- Oh wow! That is crazy. And the res, of course, does come back to try to nullify that. Of course, the flank now starting to come through for Levi. Finds one, at least for the time being. Sean having to back away. Now the pinch from Kusta with the Bulldog. Trying to stop this as well as tossing it in the air so that he's not, you know, getting updrafted on and spammed by Ward Wardell. So they don't do anything like that, so it's not really a big deal. But those are the type of details that really make teams fantastic down the line. Oh, off angle from Mikhail, but he gets taken down. Very unfortunate. And now GMD just trying to hold off from these cabbages. Good paranoia, but of course he's going to be followed up by Hayes. That does not feel good. As Hayes at this point. Right here. Use it in the next round, depending on what he finds. Paint shells early. Levi has to push back, but they are just unloading. 
on J. One, they want to fight back in mid. Look, they're starting to swing instantly. Bangs there. Sean gone. Oh, one somebody repeeks, but Kusta finds that frag onto Sabrosa. This might have been a little bit of a costly attempt you should run. at slowing down Gen G. Now they'll be together. Lockdown is well timed, but still they have to consider the safety of the lockdown. It's just for this plant. Spike planted. What do Genji do? Nature's first, then just like that, blink. Match point for TSM. Match point for the series. How they brought it back here is unbelievable. I... He's ready with that run spray. Trailblazer doesn't spot him out. Ooh, he's got to run to safety. Now he's in a little bit of trouble. The paranoia finds one. That's the spike carrier. And Kusta's going to punch in from the back. Two for one trade. Resurrection no available. TSM's been holding on to that one. Resurrection comes in and Sabros is going to buy some time to fight them where it hurts. Up close and personal. Can't quite control it, but finds it in the end. 5 HP. The shots from range from Mikael will be the nail in the coffin. Viper spit. This is what they've been waiting for. The plant now ready. John does have a showstopper. This is what can be used to try to nullify this Viper spit, but TSM still stuck. They want to go back. They want to go back. They're working their way back. I think they know that Sean has this showstopper that they want to use, and here they go. They're going to cross. The poison orb is up. Cross with no information. The sage didn't see, and they are second guessing. Leviathan goes through, and that might have costed them right now because now it's a two versus three. And like you said, Sean has already pulled off miracles with the showstopper. And we'll get the spike down, though. But miracles also work on the other side, and Wardell's hands, he's got the off. Genji have to act fast. I know that the fear of Wardell can be quite daunting. And of course, he's got the op here, but Mikael's first to peek. The cape does get spotted out. Now Wardell backs away. We're in an even fight. 2v2. Showstopper ready to go. Locked and loaded. Sean's going to pop in. Does Wardell have the shot? No, he doesn't, but he avoids the showstopper. Now backing away. Bank's got an 